Welcome, how's it going traders? Welcome to local channel. Today we're gonna do a recap of this insane trading day. Today I was trading with a student of mine. We're doing some live trading together and yeah, we came up with some nice results. So we'll share it, we'll break it down with you today. Today we're gonna be looking at the Quest Trade charting. We trade with our trading view charting. But um, first, just so I can show you the exact entries and exits and how it's going on, we're going to dive deep into that. Alrighty, let's get into it. Alright, so yeah, today was really nice. Uh, we, we entered three trades purposely. One was by accident trying to explain something. So the first stock we traded today was this XELA. We traded it pre-market. We seen it had a high of $8.20, right? So, you know, we knew it had some potential in it and some space and room. So we wanted to capitalize on the momentum really before it happened. So that's why we traded it pre-market. We seen that it made a... Uh, a high over the previous candles high to break over the 9 and 20. We did have that VWAP resistance, which makes us not a high quality setup, right? But ultimately, uh, we entered there. It's still a setup. It just wasn't the highest quality setup. And we actually ended up taking a loss on it. No surprise there for not being a high quality setup as when we held it until market opened, right? And it took out a loss as it fell down sharply. We're down like, I think like $600, but we knew that there was lots of volume and momentum and potential in the stock. So as we seen the first setup happen as after the mark op market opened, which was this red to green move to break over the high of 86 here, we entered a position and it just skyrocketed. We, we as you can see, we scaled out our position really nicely, taking out at 27, 44, taking out somewhere at 80 and then fi finishing off at $7.30 from an entry of $5.83. So really we got, this stock went up so sharply that, you know, after the first two jumps, it halted. As soon as it halted and reopened five minutes later, it took off a put position, held the rest till break even and, you know, it continued to move, so we continued to take off some more. So it was really a solid, it was really in our favor too. Of course, we took that loss early on from a not high quality setup, which is not really the best way to start your trading day, but we developed these skills of emotions that we didn't allow that to, you know, really attach to us too much. We just went and looked for a high quality setup afterwards was this red to green move. So then after that, we traded, um, I believe it was Riot by accident. So I was talking with my client, my student, and, you know, I was telling them about limit orders and stuff. And I entered an order and it actually hit that order before I wanted to actually enter. So then, you know, I just sold out real quickly. So that was a loss unfortunate mistakes uh we <laughs> but yeah we learn we learn from that <laughs> um after that we traded AMC AMC really choppy really choppy trader today but we traded it on a five minute pattern here as a bull flag pattern we came up sharp momentum pull back into the nine moving average view i've been 20 right perfect beautiful setup entered as the first candle makes a new high was holding on to position it got to a high of what is this uh 12 15 right we wanted a little more before we started taking off but you know during the trade i'm like hmm we made this break but it didn't immediately you know show that momentum show that power and potential it had and it's yeah so that's kind of pretty sus so we kept that in mind and as it it rejected here and made a new low we just exited out and then uh i think it was 1183 so that's right up here as, it, as soon as it made that new low because i'm like yeah this 
is not moving the way it's not moving really smooth and fluid as I wanted it to right so then we just sold out and of course it dropped heavily but then we we're able to take a nice trade on uh AMC uh was it GME right they're really trading fairly similar but yeah this was a nice quick trade same it pulled back the these quest trade charting looks kind of different from what I see on my my chart and it definitely looks a bit better than this but it had you know some stronger momentum than this a pullback into the view app 9 and 20 just like AMC and then this is the candle to make a new high we entered that and then took off uh took off before we hit that resistance at 304 just to get out with some profit and yeah that was really the trading day Really just the one real stock that we capitalize on. Other than the very first trade, every other trade was disciplined and beautiful and perfect. Which we we like to see. <laughs> and yeah, yesterday I had a really good day. I didn't uh, end up recording it or anything. But in the day uh, before as well too. But that's how it goes sometimes. But it's really these really simple setups that we're trading, right? Basic setups, keeping the emotions. We see we're trading with a little heavier size sizes now. That's what we're developing ourselves and working towards for the past little bit. So we can, you know, continue to make when the opportunities are present, we're able to capitalize as much as possible. You know, as we do small cap shares, you see me make like 40 bucks but it's the, literally the same setups that I'm trading, right? The only difference is share size. And that's all it is to, if you want to really capitalize on these markets and that skill that you develop. So don't be ashamed if you're only making $50 a day. If you're making $50 a day consistently, consistently, you have the ability to make 500 a day consistently. You have the skill. You may not be at that risk tolerance, the motion control, the discipline yet, but that's exactly what you'd need to work on and focus on in order to get you to that level. So there's a clear path for you there. Um, I suggest how I did it is, you know, I, I try to treat it as much. I was trading a live account you could trade it simulator, but the best results that I found was trading, you know, live account small shares, risking $50. But when you go into big share size, you got to kind of eliminate, you pretend like you don't know how much shares you have in a case. So you don't have those emotions. The emotion, the emotions immediately start to come back once you look, oh, look at my PL, blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh, it's up so much or so little, right? You have to get over that fact. For me, it's been um constant, constant, right? I see, you know, made $1,000 a day before, made it two times, three times, blah, 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 right? Made it so many times that, you know, I'm, uh, I'm accustomed to the fluctuations which come as a result of trading with more share size, right? So I'm very fortunate to be uh, in that position and being here as long I've been trading for almost four years now, right? Still not the best trader, right? Still trying to connect with other traders. It's really hard to find, you know, people who are really serious and committed. And that's why, you know, we create this community, right? And, you know, I'm kind of advertising my skills. So I'm able to connect with other traders of the same caliber, right? I'm super clear and open. I'm open to share and everything's out there. So other than that, yeah, hope you guys have a good trading day and I'll see you guys again soon. Interested in one of the cheapest commissions in Canada, as well as the broker I use for day trading and investing? Sign up now with Quest Trade using the link below or offer code CANADA100 to get commissions for as low as $0.01 cent per share, $50 trade commission rebate, or $10,000 managed free for a year and start your path to success and better your trading performance.